in this video uh, i am going to show a small java based tool i have created using a tooling api and the tool name i have uh, named as the anonymous apex executor so there are chances uh, when uh, our project goes live and uh, some urgent defects come defect comes and we need to modify some data now there are a few options already available to modify that data either we should export data using data loader tool or some other tool then correct data using uh, in excel or some other etl tool and then update it but let's say if there is any etl tool involved and you need to correct using etl tool uh, uh, extra skill, uh, skill set is needed and most of the time the salesforce developer are not, not aware about those skill set for example the boomi or cast iron and let's say if you want to perform the data manipulation in excel file or a csv file sometimes it's very slow to correct some data maybe some of the millions of row now other options available is like to create a batch apex and using batch apex correct the data but in that case we have to write batch apex create test classes deploy it and in enterprise application normally deploying takes three to four hours and once deployed and once task is done uh, that code is of no use so i just thought to create a small utility uh, which would be kind of the command line data loader but the difference is like it will execute anonymous apex and we can control that how many times that anonymous apex should be executed and if needed we can set up uh, interval also this is kind of a tool i have created this is the gui version of this tool so here we have to provide a username we have to provide a password and then we have to tell that it is a sandbox and it is a production and in some cases if the proxy are available then we have to provide a proxy address port proxy username and proxy password and this is a area where we have to write our anonymous apex most of the time it is possible that you have to execute anonymous apex only once now you might be thinking that why do we need a filled loop for example let's say there are millions of record and we have a limits inside salesforce and in single execution it is possible that we cannot process each and every record in single transaction so maybe we need to break up our transaction in number of in that case this would be very helpful uh, let's say the total records are 50000 and one dml operation can have only 10000 records so maybe we can execute same code five times so that is the use of this uh, loop text box now another option i have with here is a pause and this is in millisecond most of the time you may not be needed but in my case my anonymous apex was firing a uh, future statements and there are many chances and there are very incidences where i have seen that records were getting locked because more than one feature uh, executed at the same time it's a very rare case but maybe a good idea to pause uh, your anonymous apex so that is the use of this text box and we have this too so it is impossible that you want to save this code to be used in the future so you can save code you can browse your code also and this is the execute button the time we execute it a uh, log window appears and log window will give you a real time update if there is any compiler error or something on this window and with the log window log files is also automatically getting created so that is how it works from a ui now the same version is also available in a uh, command line mode to run in command command line mode we have to provide uh, these parameters so that system should be aware that what is the username and the password so kind of the same configuration we have to provide in xml and this is a sample xml format we have to provide username password and a command to run from uh, command line is like this command so we have to use this command and it will take care of everything now which file needs to be executed so in this parameter we have to provide the path of the file which, which would be picked by this application 
now this is a complete source code i have provided on my git repository so you can navigate to my git repository uh, this is the location of my git github.com and here you can search for anonymous apex executor and complete java code is available here so you can go you can change as per you wish or if you found any bug you can report me here this is all theoretical let's get hands on on uh, this actual application so to use the gui maybe you can go on uh, this distribution folder and you can double click on this file so i have this file on my system so let me go on my local system so this is a file i have to double i will be double clicking here this is a uh, anonymous apex window i will be providing my uh, username of one of the dev org and then password now the password should have a security token after it if it applies to your uh, org now in this case i don't have any proxy username and password so i am just keeping it blank i am saying that execute this in execute this two time and after each execution let's wait for half second so this is a configuration just to make sure that my code is running i will open my so this is my dev org i am logging into this and then i will open my developer console So just to make sure that nothing is coming here now this is my program i'm saying i'm simply saying hello world and i'm clicking on this window so you can see it shows that i'm logging by this user this is the real time window uh, that will give you a real time status of uh, code so it says that first code is executed but at half millisecond then second code executed so look total it's uh, iterated for two times and all anonymous code is ex uh, executed successfully now if, you, if background if you can see uh, my log so here two log is already available here so let's open one of them and So if I see here, this is executed. So this is the same statement, hello world, I used to execute. So here we can see that from UI, uh, this tool is working fine. Uh, and now let's go back on the command line version. And if you want, you can also save this code. So you can just uh, save as a class file or any file you want, and then you can reuse this code again. Now let's switch back to command line version. So I am just clearing my log. So all logs are deleted. Now I will open my command line. So this is my command line. Now to execute this, I have provided on my Git account that what steps need needed to execute from command line so i will just go there and i will just copy paste it so for example let's say if you need help you can run this command and it will this help will show you that uh what should be the format of xml file so if you can see this is the format of xml file uh which needs to be present there and the name of the xml file should be command line dot config so let's run a actual command this is a command i need to run so just need to make just make sure that this file exists in your path command line dot config so that it will be available to program and so that all the configuration can be used i am going to, let's see my developer console first this is my developer console and nothing is here no logs yet and 
let's try to execute this okay so it says code executed successfully two times again i had the same configuration and if you see this time the pause was 200 milliseconds so it shows and when i will open uh, this log log file slow so if we see log file it says hello world so here i was executing the hello world so i hope uh, this tool would be very helpful for you and of course you can change this code anytime as to suit your project needs login utility is already here so with the help of login utility instead of just uh, limiting to the execute anonymous code uh, you can extend this tool like creation of apex classes vf pages and uh, editing apex classes so all the supported uh, uh, functionalities provided by tooling api uh, hope this helps and i would like to have your feedback if you see if you see any issue or if you have any feedback please post it on my github thank you very much